Operation is a happiness because my party has won and we won convincingly and we won creditably. Election is um, a game and it's only those who know how to play the game win. We just finished from a World Cup and we know how it was contested. For us, election is just like a World Cup. So we have won in the midst of other contestants. We congratulate ourselves and congratulate others who also contested because, like I say, it's a game. And then we don't have anything as a criminal against anybody because in any contest, there must be a winner. So those who won, like APC, my party, we're happy about it. And we have told those who have lost out that it is normal in a, a contest like this that one person must emerge. And if you didn't win today, you have to, you know, know that it is not the will of God because power comes from God. It's only God that gives power to whosoever he wills to give it. It's not by what we are doing. You may feel that you are the best. And before God, you may not be the best. So I am very happy that the election has uh, come and gone and it has been won. And I want to appreciate everybody that participated and uh, to congratulate our own president-elect, His Excellency Asiwaji Bolame Tinubu, and to also congratulate those who have lost and believe that they should, you know, take it in a way of uh, sports uh, manship. Because uh, whatever happened, happens uh, as a will of uh, God. And uh, I also want to appreciate uh, the uh, umpire that has conducted this uh, election, that is INEC. I think they have done well because um, we allowed them to conduct uh, this election and nobody had any objection to tell them that you cannot be able to conduct this election. And they have done it and I think they have done it to the best of their ability as human beings. So if anybody has anything to say about the election or the outcome, uh, for me that would be like an afterthought. Because in a game, you don't change the rules in the middle of the game. If we have all allowed INEC to conduct this election, giving them all the support, so we must also accept the outcome because they have done their best as human beings. So as a member of APC and the stakeholder, I want to appreciate all Nigerians and uh, plead that we should take the outcome of this election in good faith and hope that it is a process to move this country forward by the special grace of God. High margin of vote in the state. Do you have that confidence that the people will vote for your party? And they appeal to the electorate. Yes, you see, the issue of presidential election, which you said protest vote, it's not a protest vote. It was uh, one of uh, the level of our own politics in here, in this side of the world. I'm also aware that even some of my party members played anti-party against the party because, uh, of course, all of us have the mind that an Igbo man should bring of this country. Yes, yes. I stood by that position very well. And that is why during the last election, we worked very hard to ensure that one out of the many that came out, especially a boy who had two aspirants for the presidency, I prayed and hoped well that at least one of them should emerge because it has been our own thinking that an Igbo man should be able to give him chance to rule this country. And so when uh, the thing did not happen in the APC and it happened in the other party, people thought there was need for not protest, sympathy vote. We call it protest. They went, there's no protest. Sympathy vote, which most of our own people did. But that has come and gone and we have seen how glaring it is. I play national politics. And I will tell people when they ask me before the election, I say, wait for the day. But I know APC is working very hard. I don't have to be boasting that we must win. Every party should work very hard. And every party should have strategy of winning. So now we have finished that and we have seen it, where we were, and we have calmed down. So I still believe that people must have realized that that same party should be off. Because we're not talking about a, a boy politics. And uh, if I be very plain, P2B is not running for governorship. So don't say you are putting P2B come 11th of uh, March. That would be a very bad, mis bad 
misconception. P2B has run for presidency and we have seen where it is. So the, the, the one coming in the state is governorship election and House of Affairs. This has a candidate that we think should be able to win for us in the person of uh, Right Honorable Francis Obodin uh, Awifu. That's our candidate. So I think people should separate the two. The sympathy vote because we all wanted Igbo man to win, but South East alone cannot determine who so becomes great of this. We country. look at what uh, APC has done in the boy state. So far, so good. So the people will have to give us the support. I know that uh, APC is coming with another type of policies that are going to be, you know, what I, I mean, that is going to augment the present thing that is on ground, which is woman capacity development and building. And I think uh, if you have watched uh, Right Honorable Mufru's uh, uh, manifesto and agenda, you can find out that that is on the top gear, that we are going to fill whatever gap. And it is better. They say the Indian man will say, you know. I don't believe in that theory, but I just want to use that and portray my point. They say the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. So the, what we have seen on ground from APC is better than those who are coming to learn job in the process because APC is coming for continuity and consolidation. And part of us are going to be part of this consolidation and continuity. And I want to tell you that we have a lot of ideas that are going to be brought into play. And I think Ebayan will say, ah, if we didn't have this, we, did, we don't know the beauty of APC to the end. So APC is a beautiful party, and we are pleased that Ebayan should give us the chance again, and we are going to do more and more and more. So nobody should think otherwise, because if you don't take it the way we are telling you, and you go the other way, you will find out, for instance, in the other parties, there are no, there are no straightforward straightforward looking even a, a what do I call it a, a, a contest because some of them are see contesting the, the, the candidature of their party to the point where we, we are some people don't even know who is their candidate in the party some other people have even sold off mortgage I learned a few days ago some party has even dished out their own governorship uh, candidates oh. <laughs> And some has adopted other people. So it's only a PC that have a clearing that is undoubtful candidate. And we are moving ahead. We have done our rallies in the 13 local government level. And we have done our rallies in all the world levels. And now we are doing what other people are doing. That is house to house, door to door. So I appeal to employers to please give us a chance. Nothing has gone wrong with a PC. I will promise that we are going to do more and more and better. Employers can also decide to give APC what we call an agenda for a better boy. If anybody has, I also know it happens, where they say certain agenda, of course it is the work of you journalists, you can set an agenda for APC in the next dispensation, in this community and consolidation dispensation, give us an agenda. It will be part and parcel of our work to say, Your Excellency, a Boyans has been very magnanimous to us. Now they have areas that we need to look into. We have no option. In, in, in addition to the manifesto that has been beautifully crafted by Right Honorable Mufu, we can add a Boyans agenda that could be set for us to move the state forward better than where we are. Subscribe to this channel, The Mirror TV, on YouTube. The Mirror on Facebook, The Mirror TV on Twitter. Subscribe and follow us. And we shall be giving you updates of the activities here in Ebon State and across the globe. For advert placement or sponsorship, call the number showing on the screen or email us at mbamsi.